to show who got a haircut. He's so funny because he tries to look so handsome. Do you look handsome? <laughs> Do you look handsome? Guess what, guess what time it is. Oh. Watch how patient he is. Hmm. He's such a good gotta, boy. Gotta, gotta, gotta kind of gotta put his jacket on because, because he's, he'll be cold. Yeah. Right, Ange? He's got to get a jacket on because this is uh, this is not a it's not a foo foo jacket. Yeah. Dave just asked me if this was mine. No, it's mine. So she had eggs, <laughs> cottage cheese, and is that peanut butter or yeah. looks like butter. peanut butter? He was admiring your tree in uh, the corner. Yeah. What do you call it? My Charlie Brown. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said. He said that's what she calls it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know if that was an insult or. No. I love the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So we have the. Is it 15 feet, Angie? Yeah. And, you know, she's traveling a week for yeah, Christmas, she's going right? To, uh, New Jersey. So it's like she leaves next week. So I said, do we have to drag that big tree down? I don't know. And listen, she's super into Christmas. Yeah. So she's like, all right, I'll do limited, right? So we have this <laughs> tree. There's a tree in our room. And then she hung the stockings. Yeah, it's nice. And she did do some lights and everything outside, very limited. But we took time to blow up the, I guess they would be called jingle bells, huh, Angie? Yeah, Christmas balls. They, those were a pain in the butt to blow up. How long do you think it took us to blow those don't, up? Don't you have a pump? We yeah, did. Even with the pump. Oh, really? It took a long time. Oh, wow. Because they're like beach balls. I don't think I've seen they're them. They're beach balls. They're tied in the front, and you walk okay. right by it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's ready to go. Yeah, Angie's going to train. He looks very handsome. Yeah? Where are you going, Angie? Elevation. Elevation? That's your spot? Well, that's for my trainers. <laughs> oh, uh... Denise. Huh? Denise. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's not how you call it. How you call her usually? D. D. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's our D? D body by D or? Yes. Yes. No, team D. Yeah, team D's. You shot her before. Yeah, I remember. I remember. All right, bye guys. Have, Have fun. Thank you. You better kill it. Always. Take no prisoners. Make sure you post a Cutler Nutrition uh, <laughs> story, please. Do you have <laughs> Prevail or something or? Yeah, I have a day. Okay. She did one yesterday. I saw. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to do a little jaywalk. Do you want to go jaywalk, uh, Capone? Of course. What he's a silly so, question. He's so patient, but... I know. Let's, uh, all right, let's get this let's done. Let's go check huh? it out. There are the balls. I saw those. Yeah. What is this? Uh, it deflates. It says, this says Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. I know it's Christmas, but <laughs> we kept it up because she wanted to make it look cool, you know? Yeah. Did you clean the bird crap off your car? I sure did. I wouldn't want I wouldn't I didn't want to come back here again with the with that on on it. Because uh, I know you'll say something. <laughs> Isn't it bad that I always say something? <laughs> I should know by now. So I mean, you and the Christmas spirit is the question. Yeah, I'm actually into it this year. You are? Yeah. I'm actually looking like, forward to it. Like, will you actually go Christmas shopping or? I'm done. Really? Yeah. Did you do it all online or? I did online, yeah. Bye. Bye. Be careful. All right. Uh, so how do you do it? Yeah, I just, you know, I just I asked the kids what they want, the cats what they wanted, and uh, I just kind of got everything online, and I still have to wrap it, but I will uh, bring all that stuff to them when I go to California. Are you one of these people that wears a Santa hat? Um, oh, no. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to see people in the gym wearing the Santa yeah, hats at the and grocery stuff. store, yeah. Do you start to see that? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today I saw people go, go shopping with a Santa hat and a mask on. Angie said... There was a woman tr working out in the gym the other day with an elf outfit, 
and it really? said and it said on the thing on the back of her pants i'm a nutcracker <laughs> And they were like booty shorts. <laughs> oh, nice. That's something you'd actually like. I huh? like that, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Angie's been training uh, lately, I've seen on the social media and yeah, stuff. She's getting, uh, she's got to push back to, uh, I guess it's that time of year, isn't it? Yeah. This is a time of year for uh, mindset switch to, hey, 2024 is going to be my year. Yeah. Right? Don't you see that all over oh, social yeah. media? And oh, yeah. But the truth is, if you can't get up every day, make your bed, do your routine, drink your two glasses of water. Yeah. Okay, most important thing when you wake up, drink that water, make your bed, and start your day with positive energy. This is oh, right, right from the school of Ed Connors. <laughs> Right? He Making was in bed. town, you know. Yeah, did you see him? No, oh, he, uh, I heard he was hanging around the gym, though, okay. for a minute. Okay, yeah, I wonder what he's doing. I like Ed. I was watching, he posted up some of the old gold gym catalogs with Gary Stridham. And really? Yeah, I mean, he was talking about... On Facebook? Oh, you on know, Facebook, oh, yeah. Do you know there were, they had 12,000 members at Gold Venice? 12,000? Yeah. Can you imagine? How many is there right now? I mean, that's a good question. I would love to know. We'll have to find out when we go there for the uh, yeah for the uh, workout of the the year. Yeah, we yeah. got a lot of requests, you know, for that. Yeah, I saw the comment. People uh, people were leaving the comments. You know, Mark and Jen went right. He called me. Too. Oh, he did. I told him you had the link. Yeah, so, so I he hooked them up. Jared. I hooked them up with Jared and. Uh, I just kind of put them in touch, in touch via text, and because he didn't say when he wanted to go or whatever, so he needed to, he needed to know, you know, yeah. to make sure he'd leave a pass if he wasn't there. So it all worked out. I didn't know he was in LA, Mark and Jen. Yeah, they went out there for yeah for something, you know. He said he hasn't been on Golson for four years. Four well, years. he probably went with me last. Yeah, four years ago. I was a little worried with the with the wind today. Yeah. You know, it's a little it's, breezy. It's mild. Not too bad. I guess you're not riding your motorcycle anymore, huh? Uh, not lately, no. It's a little chilly now, It's right? a little chilly there. Kind of funny, like, we say how cold it is, 55. I know. And then, you know, we call people back home, and it's like, you know, 32 degrees or yeah, less, right? Yeah, that's crazy. And I'm in shorts, as you can see, so it can't be <laughs> yeah, very cold, You have the fuzzy right? jacket, though. <laughs> yeah, this is a new one. It just got launched, actually, today. <laughs> oh, today? Yeah, December 13th was the... Oh, it looked like the other one you were wearing. No, nah, this is a new one. This, this is, is more the, cream. Young, young LA, they just dropped the last drop of the year. Use my code Cutler. You guys want to check out some cool clothes. This is all young yeah. LA, actually. And, uh, yeah, so training, training has been pretty much on point. You know, I haven't taken a day off since I came back. <laughs> Did you expect any less? No. <laughs> But what I have not been doing is doing my fasted cardio in the morning. I did one yesterday, but today I skipped, and I'll just do it after the weight training session today. Okay. And today's shoulder, so it's your day off. Yeah. I only see you really on your days off, huh? Uh, because well, we could film in the morning on the days that oh, I train. Of course, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But you're back to pretty much full timing, huh? Yeah, I'm good now. Yeah, it's been a solid week last week and this week what did you think of the nationals i don't know dude i just uh did you know anyone competing how did mark do mark mark from dragon oh Slayer. he got eight okay that's pretty so he good. got eight out of 40 which is pretty pretty good. respectable yeah was he happy about that or not he said he was he was first called out but i mean i remember him like he was like oh i'm gonna go get my pro card like he was you know he went in to win it obviously but it's so crazy because you know i won on my first attempt in dallas so yep. they just had the show in dallas and i remember in oh in oh in, no sorry 95 yeah i did the tournament of champions in august august 19th was that show okay and then everyone was like, you got to get ready for the Nationals. I think they were in October that year. Okay. And I actually said, you know, no, I wanted to wait. And, and uh, I wanted to be more prepared because Joe Weider asked me, you know, when I met him, 
in his office right after I won that show, I did my muscle and fitness cover. Okay. I said, hey, uh, you know, I want to turn pro, but I want to wait until next year. Yeah. So we actually waited, uh, sat out that year. I think Don Long won in 95, the Nationals in New Orleans. Okay. And then, remember, 96, like Titus ended up winning the USA's, and it was very controversial against Tom Prince. That's right. Remember? So Tom was on line to win. It was in California, win. yes. Yeah. Tom was on line to win the Nationals. Because Tom got third at 95 Nationals. Yeah, yeah. And I think Titus was coming off the ban or something that year. Mm -hmm. or, Remember, he walked, he... He broke the, the trophy, yes. and yeah. So he couldn't compete at the Nationals. I don't know who... I don't know who was second. I don't remember. I think Tom was third, though. He was second or third. Okay. And then, so Tom got second at the USA, very controversial. So he was in line to win the Nationals in 96. Yeah. And then I came in and beat him. He got second. <laughs> he threw and a bunch of the, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so he won in 97, Tom. He won in 97? Yeah. Okay, Nationals. come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, you won the Nationals in 97, I think. Yeah, so... So I remember, you know, leading up, I'm like, I'm going to come and win the Nationals. And then, of course, I didn't plan... Like, remember, in 95, I did that shoot. I was, like, the biggest thing. And Tom came at the Nationals, and I never expected him to be as good as he was, and he ended up getting third, and then he became the hype guy. Yeah. And then he showed up at that USA and almost beat Titus, or yeah. should have, could have. Yeah. yeah. And everyone was talking about Tom Prince. I'm like, damn, now I just sat out where I felt I would have had momentum, yeah. and now I get this guy to contend with. Yeah. And fortunately for me, you know, I came in and won that, and he yeah. was a little off. Yeah. And then I got my pro status right away. So third contest, basically... I got my pro card. Yeah, that's awesome. And that was in Dallas. My whole family flew there, bro. Oh, yeah? Yes, all my nieces, nephews, brothers, wow. everyone. That's a bunch of people they, right they there. They flew to Dallas, and they watched me win the pro card. But that's how confident I was. Like, I was confident to be like, I'm going to win this thing. You guys got to fly out. Yeah. You know, I'm going to get my pro card. And I really thought, like, that's awesome. Chris Aceto was like, you're going to beat Tom Prince. You know, he had no doubt. Yeah, Chris has always been on your side. But that time. was the one thing that was disappointing to me. I didn't win the overall at that show. Willie Stalling Yeah, did. why? Why is that? He just, dude, he was more polished, I guess. But hmm. I thought I still could have won. But listen, he was great. Uh, I never got my picture as a national champ I know, at overall. Gold's Gym. I know. <laughs> and that bothered me. I know. To this day, like, if, you, if I could change something... something. It would be having my picture on the wall. For the overall champion. Yeah. Yes. Because you know how they have that list of... I know. The guys in back. All the NPC nationals. Okay, come on. Come on. All the USA on. champions. We're going to yeah. do one more lap. Come on. You can keep going. Come on. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> oh. Come on. He's giving you attitude. No, come on. Come on. <laughs> wow, I've never seen him do that. Well, because he, he's used to doing one. Yeah, I know. He's getting lazy. <laughs> so, so, uh, what was I saying? You were talking so about the, not getting the that. wall. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when you're going Venice and you're in that third room. Yep. The third room has all the pictures up there, right? Yeah, so in the cardio room on the left side. Yes. Yes. So, it has all the national, the national winners up there, right? And USA champions. Yes. Overall. Yeah. So, I always wanted that, <laughs> my picture there. I was so disappointed, dude. I know. Dude, you get so many national you champions. You get so many pictures in there, though. You have a lot of pictures. I know, but it always wasn't like that. Remember, there yeah. was a time, dude, that we didn't have the picture you and yeah. me up there. I mean, that front room, I had that old picture. The from huge Earth, one know. with the bicep. Yeah, yeah with the, with side, the side, side chest. chest. Yeah. And then, of course, I had to wait to win the Olympia to I get know. the big one. That's the one we wanted. So all those years, I could have had the early picture. <laughs> I was only 23 when that happened, right? I know. Let me ask so, you something. Would you rather have the overall NPC national champion or Olympia? <laughs> I'd like to have it all. See, I'm, I'm being greedy. Yeah, you are. I'm being greedy because I really wanted... I wanted that momentum, so I had that picture when I was like 22, yeah. and then I would have had one at 23. I get it, dude. There was, was a, a big, big, there was a big gap between the other pictures, dude. I know. 
it's a big deal to have your picture at gold, dude. It's like you have to be somebody. You know, I mean, everybody wants to have their pictures at Gold's Gym. It's like you made it in bodybuilding when you have it there, you know. I mean, listen, today, it was like magazine covers back then, yeah. right? Yeah. That meant everything. If you were on a magazine cover, you were a star. I know. That's true. And now, I mean, do you ever walk in a store and look at the magazine rack? I know. Think about no, this. No, no, I never. Every time I would go to a store, I would always look at Dude, all the Dude, I would sit magazines. in front of a magazine rack, and I would read front to back page of every bodybuilding book there was. I would spend two hours. Yeah. Barnes and Noble. I, I remember. Sit there listen and to read. me. I would go in, and certain grocery stores carried the books, right? Yeah. So I would literally go there every single day because I knew it was coming. I would be like, hey, is the new Muscle Mag out yet? Is the new Iron Man out yet? Is the new Flex out? And I remember sitting there and I'm like, I don't really have the $5 to buy the book. Yeah. Disposable five bucks. How sad is that? I know. But like, what are you gonna do? Buy, think about it, bro. If I bought every magazine, it's it was like- 20 bucks. 25 bucks. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have the extra money, but I wanted to learn. Yeah, yeah. So I literally would. Didn't you have Barnes and Nobles where you live? Because yeah, Barnes yeah, and Noble were no, great no, about it. No. I didn't. I oh, okay. didn't because I didn't remember. I was going to school. I had very limited funds to even buy gas. Yeah, right. So I'm like, I can't drive to a bookstore that was way out of the way. <laughs> you were busted. Well, I was working. I was going to school, and I was in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Very little time. Wouldn't your gym have any subscription, or they wouldn't come at the gym for free? No, they would leave. Some people would leave magazines, and I would sit there, and I would. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I would. They would be sitting there and it'd be like, oh, I'm gonna take it home. <laughs> and I sit on the toilet. I've done that. And I would read these books. Yeah. Front to back. You know? I know. And we'd keep them. Back then we would keep all yeah. those magazines. My I mean. mom has a whole attic full. Really? Well, of all the my covers wow. and stuff, but dude, I literally would walk in every day and ask the clerk or whatever, hey, uh, is <laughs> when's the magazine come in? When, when and you know, sometimes, bro, they'd be in the bundles. Oh, yeah? And I'd be like, hey, can I open this? Because I want to read it. <laughs> would they all come at different dates? Yes. Okay, okay. Some would release some. But I think back then, I'll be honest, dude. I think Muscle Mag had the best. Oh, the Lord. best because you know what? The talent pool was the young up-and-coming guys. Mm. And they had the good gossip sections. Yeah. Like Steve Neese's column. That was great. Where I thought Flex, it was just like mainly the weeder athletes that we had seen over and over. Yeah, yeah. They really had the new upcoming talent. Yeah. And do you remember they used to have that page in Muscle Mag, it was called Rising Stars. Yes. And they'd have the images in there. Yeah. So I'd be able to see, oh, that guy's a new guy coming up. Yeah, you the, know? the last rep also. Yeah. The last, yeah. Yeah, Muscle Mag was And I mean, even Iron Man, Iron Man was limited, I think. They, but Lonnie's calm was everything. Yeah. The news and views. Yeah. He wrote it for years. I felt Flex didn't have as much. Um, they got better later. I they think. did, but I mean, when you were involved. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Chris Getton and. Yeah, yeah. You know, when they started doing more on the fly. Yeah. Hard. Which, which, dude, would be today's social media. Yeah. They literally had like. A month's worth of it was like following Instagram story. That's right. Over a month's term. You That's know right. What I mean, because they would have like hard times. Yeah. Remember hard times. Yeah. Yeah. They talk about people's quarrelsome moments. Oh yeah. And it was like a gossip thing. Yes. It was great. Yes. Yeah. It was the TMZ of fitness. That's right. Know? That's right. I so, miss the magazine. Damn. But I got so excited every month. I mean, all these we're gonna have so many people in here that because I know a lot of our. Our people followed magazines. Yeah. I and mean, we have a new a lot of new people too, but bring the magazines back. I know. I wish someone with a lot of money would start a new one again. Jake they possibly could do that. Jake yeah, would. but I just don't think people would You don't think people would read? I don't know, man. I think it would. People don't read anymore, dude. They just they let the stories like the videos and Yeah. I mean they sell audiobooks now. People don't want to read anymore. I know. But you remember when you used to read a book and you were so, and you had this picture in your mind, yeah. right? Well, I haven't read a book in a long time. That's what I mean. Yeah. What do you read? I mean, you watch yeah. you watch social media. I mean, yeah. Well, you read Instagram. You I mean, read. dude, you're a trumper. Think about all the stuff you read. 
nothing. You p- listen to people talk, right? Yeah. Podcasts and whatever else. Yeah, yeah. There's videos is king right now. I just watched a great documentary last night with Vanilla Ice. Really? You know, because he was a big real estate he was. guy. And he was? Yeah, he liked to ride dirt bikes and yeah. motorcycles. He r- liked to race boats. Okay. So I really had an interest in listening to his story, but... He's very successful. He's very wealthy. Funded Death Row Records in the beginning, and oh, wow. he was like the first, like hip hop guy. Yeah, you know, he always says Eminem kind of copied him, uh-huh. but at the same time, like it was kind of cool to watch. So I was interested. He mentioned a book in there that I actually bought on Amazon. Okay, this morning after watching his thing. Yeah, I was um, a big fan of his. So, is he in Florida? Where is he? Yeah, he lives in Florida. Yeah, yeah. But he grew up in Texas. Okay. And he wrote that song, Ice Ice Baby, when he was 16. Oh, geez. You remember Ice Ice of Baby? Of course I remember. And he had this, he had a movie. Do you remember? I saw it. It was riding the- With the motorcycle. Yellow yeah, motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gee, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, it know? was good. I forgot what it was called. Cold as Ice, maybe? Yeah, or? I think so. I think that's what it was. That was yeah, his thing. It was like the original, dude. I know. We're throwing it back. We always throw back on these jaywalkings, Jeez. huh? This is like what, 1990, maybe? Yeah, that he yeah, was, it was hot. like when I was in high school, like yeah. 91. Yeah, him and him, Siamer were kind of like. Yeah, they had a battle. The two at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, guys, comment below. You guys, you want to bring back some magazine conversation? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys sat in the news stands, waited, I think it's a great topic conversation. Yeah. I appreciate you guys following along. And, uh, Let's keep crushing it, huh? All right. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I flip the script. I roll the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to...